All right, welcome back. Let's uh, look at the syllabus and uh, basically the orientation exam that will be required um, after you're done with all of the videos. So uh, to access the syllabus, you're either going to go to start here um, or you could get it right here, clicking um, what if I told you the information you seek is in the syllabus, you can click it right there. Um, or you can get it down here. So let's just click down here since I'm already down here. Again, you can get it right there on the sidebar menu. The syllabus is uh, available by just clicking on that gentleman's face and it opens up, voila. So, um, all right, so again, this is a US History 2 course, 1302, so make sure you're in the right place. There's my contact information. Let's bring that up and kind of repeat what I talked about in the last video. This is my preferred email, uh, contact address, contact <laughs> in any way. Um, I, I prefer that because it goes straight to my cell phone on an app and I can get back to you. If I don't get back to you within 24 hours, please, please, please email me back. It's not my intention to ignore you, so email me back. I usually get back to students within a few hours, maybe it might take up to five or six hours depending on what I'm, I have going on during that day. But uh, if it does take more than a day, don't think you're being pushy or rude by emailing me back. Calling me, there's my office phone number, but that's that's not gonna be very good. I mean, if you leave a voice, I'm not gonna be in my office this summer, I'm gonna be in California, so uh, you will never um, have me answer it. Uh, if you leave a voice message, it's kind of cumbersome for me to check it, so I don't normally check it too often. Um, might, might not get back to you for a couple of days. And that's not good for you or me. So, um, if we do need to talk on the phone, by all means, let's let's talk on the phone. But let's initiate that that um, phone call by emailing me first at Robert Kennedy History Teacher at Gmail dot com and explain why you would like to talk. Um, what what the nature of the conversation needs to be. Don't just email me saying, uh, please call me and, and leave it at that. I want to know exactly what it is. Um, that your um, whatever the issue is, whatever your question is or concern or whatever whatever's going on ahead of time, just so I might be able to prepare ahead of time. Okay, um, going back to the syllabus. So you have that question. Let me bring that up. So the first question is how to contact me. So that's the first question you want to take note of. Definitely make sure you have your questions in front of you. If you don't, push pause and make sure you have this in front of you, the study guide. So if you don't have that study guide, you want to click that, open that up, and you want to have all these questions in front of you while you're watching and listening to this orientation. Um, and take notes, because these questions will be verbatim in the orientation exam. So if you take the time right now to take notes, then you will have all of the responses for the orientation exam. The orientation videos are located right here. You'll click here. And open it on up, and here are, are all the videos. I'm sure you already know that since you've done that already, since you're watching this right now. <laughs> um, required software for this course, Lockdown Browser. Uh, the only way to take exams in this class is to use Lockdown Browser. So you're going to open up Blackboard through the Lockdown Browser. If you're unfamiliar, have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to Lockdown Browser, this is a one minute video, very, very helpful. Uh, please uh, consult it. In fact, let me do something right now so it's more obvious that that's a video. Okay, so there it is. That's the video right there. That'll be very helpful. The software is right there. So um, download that as soon as possible if you don't have it on your computer um, as of yet. Uh, this refers to Moodle in here, but it's the same. There's no difference in its application, whether you're on Moodle or Blackboard. If you're not, Moodle is a different software um, for distance education courses. We use Blackboard, but same thing. Um, one thing you want to be aware of, when you take an exam, um, it, it will ask you for a password. If you are in Lockdown Browser, just ignore the password. Basically, the password is being in Lockdown Browser. So click begin. If you, it doesn't allow you to click begin um, when you're trying to take an exam, that means you're not in Lockdown Browser. So go, go, go to Lockdown Browser so you can open it to click begin. Um, okay, let's see. We're in the syllabus. Okay, um, here we go. Okay, so make sure I have the questions in front of me. Okay, here we go. 
Um, one thing um, I will recommend, I'll talk about more about this uh, when we get to exams. Uh, get a pack of index cards. See, uh, these kinds of things right here. Get a pack of these. These are good. Uh, these are good mediums for preparing for any course. But uh, I'll give you specifics when we get to the exams on how to use these, uh, so you can be very successful in this course. But for now, make sure you have at least a pack of these, if not two. All right. Talk more about that later. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, how much is each exam worth? Uh, well, there you go. There's your answer. Exam 1, 10%. Exam 2, 20%. Exam 3, 20%. So collectively, it's 50%. Well, when you take all of the exams, it's going to be 50% of the grade. So make sure you understand that. Homework, lecture essays, um, there's 14 of them. For each one, it's 2.5%, um, and it will come out to 35% of the grade. Right? And a, the current event or history di discussion post, you might want to click that and print that out so you have it handy. Um, it's 15, collectively 15%, so 5% uh, each. Uh, let's see, pretty standard. Um, everything is percentages in this class. I don't, you, if you see points, it gets converted into percentages once it's posted in the gradebook. Uh, so everything's percentage. Try to make it as easy as possible. I always got frustrated with instructors that had a point system that was out of 692.5 points. And then you're trying to figure out, well, how many points do I have? And it's all percentages. So uh, it should make it easier. So anyway, pretty standard. Um, uh, calibration on uh, what makes, what earns an A, what earns a B, what earns a C, and so on and so forth. Uh, pay close attention to this, the late policy. Um, to avoid the whole uh, long email from you about why you didn't do a particular exam or a particular assignment, this is basically how it works. If you miss an exam, um, the, so let's say you miss exam one, right? Um, Exam two will then count for exam one minus, um, I think I changed it, so I wanna make sure I got the, uh, minus the end of the next exam, for example, the student, yeah, minus 10%, okay, so minus 10%. Uh, so if you get a, a zero on exam one and a 95 on exam two, then exam one becomes an 85%. Oh, and it works also this way. Let's say you didn't prepare as well as you should have for exam one and end up earning a, uh, say, a 60% on exam one. But then you figured out, well, what you needed to do differently and you prepared for exam two. Um, exam two, and you earned a 95% on exam two, then it also exam one becomes an 85%. For the assignments, um, works the same way, uh, minus 5%. Uh, but also, um, you're only required to, there, it'll say that you, you'll notice in Blackboard that there's a place for you to submit in each unit a discussion. You're, you're only required, though, to do two. If you do three, uh, and do take note of this, it'll be a 5% extra credit towards the total grade. So it's pretty significant. That could be. That could be a complete uh, uh, a difference between a, a one grade to the other, uh, taking advantage of that. But you're only required to do two. So if you happen to miss one or don't do well on one, then I will count the, the highest um, scored, uh, earned score, earned percentage of the discussion points. So let's say you got a 10% uh, a on discussion post. Uh, exam one and then a 80 and a 90 while on exam on unit two and a unit three well I'll just count unit two and unit three if, if you didn't do unit one or unit two or unit three I won't count that at all against you right so let's keep that in mind all right what is the late policy if you have technical problems yes technical problems always 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 you want to call get a hold of these people ESTC VC chat, you'll click there and it will take you. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, it goes back to start here because it's available there. Um, oh, I gotta fix that. All right. 
just it's it's down at the bottom of it. If I don't fix it, it's down here at the at the bottom. Uh, do take advantage of this. It's here and it's also available if you if you go to contact instructor. It's also their their information is available here, right? There, that's hyperlinked. If you click that, you can chat with them, so on and so forth. So any technical problems, call distance education. They're right down the hall from me. They're very helpful people. Very competent. If they don't happen to call you back, uh, if you leave a voice message, uh, call them back in a couple hours. Be respectful, be polite, obviously, but uh, be persistent. It's your, if you're having an issue with Blackboard, um, they're there to help you, and they are very happy to help you. Uh, sometimes they just get a little bit busy, and um, you know, as, as things go, they, they weren't able to get back to you, so call them back within a couple hours. There's someone there was it usually from 8 in the morning to 7 p.m. Okay, let's see. Syllabus, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm getting too many links open here. Okay, um, okay, we're getting towards the end here. Um, so, um, take note of this. There's, these are the structure of the exam, so just make sure you understand that. Print that out. What is each exam worth? And collectively, when it's just is it due? I don't think it's a question. It'll probably be a question for later, but just note the exam, right? One uh, of the essays will be randomly selected from unit one. Unit two, two lecture essays will be randomly selected from units one and two. So one um, lecture essay will be randomly selected from unit one, and then one will be randomly selected from unit two. And this is why um, I feel it's perfectly okay to count um, exam two for exam one if you happen to not have done well or didn't do exam one at all because um, a lecture essay uh, will be required for you to respond to from um, the previous units always for, for each exam except for exam one since you didn't have one right uh, here's the schedule I would print this out have it handy uh, take note of this note all um, assignments and exams are open um, now and can be completed as soon as you are prepared. Um, as your instructor, I encourage you to submit assignments early and begin the exams before the expiration date. That advice, please heed it, please heed it. Um, if you wait until the last minute, that is when uh, the internet will go down, I guarantee you. So please don't wait until the last minute on these things. Everything is open now, so you can um, move as fast as you want. Notice I don't call them due dates, I call them expiration dates. That's because everything is open now. They just expire on the dates that are listed down below. So get familiar with this. Have this somewhere where you're going to see it often. Um, this stuff here, if you want to read through it, you can. Uh, but uh, Here's the ADA statement. If this applies to you, make sure you call these folks and make sure I'm informed of that information. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in here that is of interest. Um, I Oh, I don't have that in here, huh? Interesting. Um, I'll have a veteran statement in the syllabus. I don't have it in here, but I will put that in here um, right now. Okay, that's it for the syllabus. Let me know if you have any questions. Do email me at robertkennedyhistoryteacher at gmail.com. Talk to you guys later. Bye.